We are asked to solve the given equation, which is considered to be in quadratic form. Notice how it's not a quadratic equation, but it is considered to be in quadratic form because we can perform a substitution to write the equation as a quadratic equation. But let's begin by setting the equation equal to zero. Let's add four to both sides. Simplifying, we now have x raised to the power of two-thirds minus five x raised to the power of one-third plus four equals zero. And now we'll perform a substitution. We will let u equal the variable factor of the middle term, which is x raised to the power of one-third. The reason this will be helpful is because notice how if we square x raised to the power of one-third, we do get the first term of x raised to the power of two-thirds. To show this, let's rewrite the equation as x raised to the power of one-third squared. Notice how this is still x raised to the power of two-thirds, because when we multiply the exponents, we do get two-thirds, and then minus five times x raised to the power of one-third plus four equals zero. And again, now we are going to let u equal x raised to the power of one-third, and then perform a substitution. So if we let u equal x raised to the power of one-third, notice how we can now write this first term as u squared. Then we would have minus five u plus four equals zero. So again, by performing a substitution, we were able to write the original equation as a quadratic equation, which is why the original equation is considered to be in quadratic form. Now let's go ahead and factor the left side in terms of u. First term is u squared, which is equal to u times u. We have a u here and here. The second terms of the binomial factors will be the factors of positive four that add to negative five. Because we must get a negative sum, we must use the negative factors of positive four. And because negative one times negative four is equal to positive four, and negative one plus negative four is equal to negative five, the two factors we need are negative one and negative four, which means in terms of u, one binomial factor is u minus one, and the other is u minus four. Now that we have it factored in terms of u, we perform another substitution and write it back in terms of x. We will now substitute x to the one-third for u. Performing the substitution gives us x raised to the power of one-third minus one times x raised to the power of one-third minus four, and this is still equal to zero. This is actually the factored form of the original equation in terms of x. And because this product is equal to zero, either x raised to the power of one-third minus one is equal to zero, or x raised to the power of one-third minus four is equal to zero. And now we solve these two equations for x to determine the solutions. Here we add one to both sides, giving us x raised to the power of one-third equals one. And now to solve for x, because x is x to the first power, we now cube both sides of the equation or raise both sides of the equation to the third power. Here we have powers raised to powers. We multiply the exponents. One-third times three is one, giving us x to the first, or just x. We have x equals one cubed, which is equal to one. For this equation, we add four to both sides, giving us x raised to the power of one-third equals four. To solve for x, again, we cube both sides of the equation, or raise both sides of the equation to the third power. Again, multiplying the exponents, one-third times three is one, giving us x to the first, or x. We have x equals four cubed is equal to four times four times four, which is equal to 64. So we have two solutions, x equals one or x equals 64. But we should verify these solutions do work by making sure they do satisfy the original equation. And let's show this substitution on the next slide. To save some time, I've already performed the substitution. Here's the check for x equals one. Here's the substitution. After simplifying, we do get negative four equals negative four, which is true. Here's the check for x equals 64. Here's the substitution. After simplifying, we also get negative four equals negative four, which is true. Verifying both solutions work. The solutions are x equals one or x equals 64. Thank you for watching.